What's up guys, my name is Jess, we're gonna go over all of the Ranch Pals, there are a total of 17 of them in the game, you can slide in as many as you want inside of a base, but there are 17. Now, these Pals have the ability to graze, grazing means that they're able to produce certain materials that you can't obtain otherwise, or you can, but they just cost a lot of money. So, let's get started. Um... We're gonna go over the POWs, their locations, and their drops at the very beginning, and then at the end we're gonna go over into their production, so skip ahead if you want. Now, we went over the Vixies, they drop leather and bones, they're found in that area by the red trees. Next up is Chickpeas, they drop the meat and their eggs, found in the early games of the map, you kinda saw them when you first started out probably. Capritis, they are found in these locations, they drop their meats, horns, and berries. Kremis is one of the three grazing POWs that drop wool, okay? Okay, so Kremis are found in the early regions of the map as well. Lambole, yep, you saw these guys before. They drop wool and they drop their meats. Melpacas are these weird llama things. They drop wool and leather. They're very, very easy to spot. They're, they're literally the only ponies out there, literally. Okay, so now we're going into Wooly Pups. They drop cotton candy and HQ PAL oils. HQ stands for high quality PAL oils, keep that in mind. Okay, found in the uh, Swordsman area, Bushi, westwards of your original location. Same thing with the cows, these are the Mazarinas, they found in the same exact locations. Bee guards are found in the Masanda forest area, they're kind of northeastwards, northern east, aka northwest of Pen Kings. They drop honey, these are very important, so keep these guys in mind. Flambells, they drop flame organs and HQ PAL oils, funnily enough. They are kind of small. I'm surprised they actually dropped the HQ Pal oils. Anyways, Kelpsy Ignis. Kelpsy and the Clam Bellies are found in the same exact location, so just loop around that area if you need more, or if you can't find them in the beginning. Kelpsy, the water ones, they drop Pal fluids they're found in the Azura Bay location only. Surprisingly, I don't know why. Cybelex, so, they're found in the snowy biomes, all the way up north in the literally snowy areas. Now the mouse, these little cat things, they drop coins and they're only found in dungeons. Now their brethren, Mao Christs, they drop ice organs and they're found in the snowy biomes. Dumuds, they drop raw dumuds, their meats, and their HQ Power oils. Now here's the kicker, they're found in three locations. Number one is the Anubis Desert, number two is the volcanic region south of Mount Obsidian, number three is the Alpha Point, right there. Now, suit seers are kind of end game. Don't I don't recommend coming here. You're not. It's gonna be kind of hard taking them down. But anyways, they're found in Sakurajima. Now let's get into the structure that you're gonna need. You need ranch on the right. All the materials. These guys, uh, the ranches are what the grazing piles go into to start grazing. Yeah, you want to slot in some springs here and there. Turn off ingredients when you slot in a chest. Put the chest in the localized area next to your ranches, preferably, and then put a food box right next to them. Some things to know is that the work speed will affect their grazing output, so keep that in mind when you find some sort of foods that provide work speed when they're consumed. Um, when you have the monitoring stand, toggle every single skill off except for grazing just be sure to do that so that you have every single pal that you have slotted in that's directed towards these ranches that they are going to be ranching okay so you see here 17 pals yep 17 pals keep that in mind now keep in mind that you want to try and get your hands on some beds keep these pals nice and satisfied keep them satisfied with the springs with the beds they're not going to fall asleep here's the kicker here you see on screen we got a lot of eggs on that screen. These are from fully ascended chickens. You do not have to put in a lot of certain pals because the higher ascension, the more eggs and the more materials they're gonna put in. Now let's get into it. So yes, um, we're gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five. Keep counting with me. Six, seven, almost there. Eight, nine, ten. We're double checking. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, almost there. Fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Woo! 17 pals that are capable of being inside of a ranch. You can only slot them into a ranch with the monitoring stand if they have the ability to be in a ranch, aka having the ability to graze. Now that we have that settled, look at that beautiful chart. Hmm, 17 pairs of them, right? 
right let's get into the production well actually before we do that let's look at how I have the little base layout now this is actually my skill fruit tree base um, but I made it into a ranch base for the sake of this video because some of the other ones out there didn't seem to cover everything now I might have covered everything a little too fast but you know it's been small lo small learning curve okay so you see that one guy in the center that guy's a wumpo and he has level four transport higher transport means more stuff that they can carry now here's the kicker certain pals have the ability to transport faster than others regardless of the passive skills passive skills are the little tiny yellow things or random things that you see in the corner of the screen sometimes when you look at the party so yeah here we go Production. Lambos, Kremis, and Malpacas are capable of producing wool. You can all put them in the same ranch or in whatnot. It doesn't matter. Chickpeas only can produce eggs. Keep going. Mazarinas, you guessed it, producing the milk. Okay? Dumuds. They can only produce HQ power oils. I recommend if you find one, put them into the, into the ranch. They're expensive. Honey from the bee guards. These guys, you don't want to wipe them out. You want to capture them. Capritis, red berries, that's right, useless. Kelpsy Ignis and Flambellies, they also give us flame organs, which is good, I guess. Kelpsy drops the pal fluids, uh, and they produce it too. Mouse and Malchrist both give you coins, but you don't really, it, it's up to you. Woolly Pops, cotton candies, those are for medicine. Cybelex, HQ cloth, they're for high, big, giant beds for the big pals vixies the more you ascend to four stars the higher you can get the spheres right the giga spheres i think are the highest ignore the hypersphere i don't know where i where i put that in suit series they drop bones okay bones are used for these expensive expensive um what is it called well they use for cement too so cement are used for the yellow balls and the red balls i think actually no it's only used for the red balls and higher so the Gigaspheres are they called? Hyperspheres? I don't remember. Anyways, this is the footage right here. We got a bunch of transport pals going out. We got the Knocklums, the Vanworms, and the Wumpos all have very high transport speeds, or transport levels rather. And um, yeah, this is what you want to run for a ranch base. I don't re I I kind of recommend having a segregated base, a specific base dedicated to ranches. This is imperative so that you have a nice, supple amount of materials at your disposal. You just teleport here, make your stuff, and then go, go off. You see that? The stuff popping into the chest? Though it is from the transfer pals. So, we're coming to a close. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My name is Jess. Please do a like, comment, subscribe, and look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace!